chapter number 2 of social studies it is regarding cultural heritage of india that includes traditional handicraft and fine arts so heritage of india is quite varied and particularly cultural heritage we are going to study cultural heritage india is a country of rich cultural heritage it includes materialistic and genetical heritage materialistic means which is related to material only okay and genetical heritage means which is related to genetics genetic inheritance so when a child inherits physical and mental characteristics from the parents by birth is known as genetic inheritance whereas house land estates like properties obtained from ancestors is called material heritage it is quite clear that which comes from genes of our parents that is our in the genetic inheritance and which we obtain in terms of materials like house land estates etc that is called material heritage okay similarly whatever man obtains or creates means man himself obtains or creates with his intellect and skill is generally generally called cultural heritage in the same manner suppose when men obtains all these things from their ancestors means in the same manner traditions customs rituals and special types of lifestyle adopted by our ancestors is also known as cultural heritage means one we ob we obtain or create ourselves and the second we get it from our ancestors both the both the uh, heritage are included in cultural heritage and in addition to this in addition other matters like education farming trade rules and regulations for daily life festivals entertainment art and handicrafts beliefs and skills are also included in cultural heritage so you can see here it is not only regarding materials only but cultural heritage means our beliefs and skills and everything arts and handicrafts also it comes in it comes under cultural heritage so india being an ancient country of the world india is one of the most ancient countries in the world it has wide traditions social values dogma dogma means our beliefs whatever have been set up as principles from our uh, by our forefathers that is called and we are following it blindly that is called dogma so india being an ancient country of the world has its best traditions social values dogma customs and family system so it is our duty to preserve our cultural heritage it is our duty to preserve our cultural heritage because it has a big value there are there are references of 64 hours very important thing there are references of 64 hours in our ancient literature 64 types of arts are there according to our ancient literature they have they are handicraft workmanship workmanship with skill workmanship kasab kasab is also a skill art drawing music dramatic art and dance etc all of these are included in handicraft
Our ancient currencies were also valuable. Our ancient currencies were also valuable. It's but natural because India was one of the prosperous countries. And that's why our ancient currencies were also valuable. Prosperity of India was main attraction for visitors to attract to, uh, to attack India. Due to our prosperity, the foreigners were attracted by India, by our country and hence they uh, attacked after visiting India, they attacked India. Today, the education of yoga has been considered as a part of cultural heritage which has been accept, accepted by the whole world. It's, you can see yoga as one of our big achievements because India has given the whole world this thing that is yoga. Today the education of yoga has been considered as a part of cultural heritage which has been accepted by the whole world and consequently 21st, 21 June is celebrated as the World Yoga Day in the whole world. This is a big achievement because the whole world is celebrating Yoga Day on 21st June. In this chapter, we will learn about varied heritage, varied art and craft of India. Art of Indian Artisans Art of Indian artisans. What do you mean by artisans? Artisans, artisans means skilled workers, skilled laborers. The beauty of Indian cultural heritage is lying in traditional art of its artisans. See, beauty of Indian cultural heritage is lying in our in traditional art of its artisans. Our artisans were worldwide famous. They were really very, very famous in the whole world. The art was they have skillfully developed varied lifestyle of people through their remarkable art and handicraft industry. In handicraft as well as in art, they were quite famous and they had they had a remarkable yes. and they, they had a remarkable name in the world. Weaving and embroidery, wooden art. Clay work, drawing, painting, leather industry, animal work, sculpture, architecture, a kick work, diamond related artistic workmanship, and knitting work have their unique identity in India. All these works, you know, weaving, embroidery, this is related to cloth embroidery on cloth weaving work weaving of cloth wooden art clay work related to soil drawing painting leather industry leather animal animal work animal work related to color sculpture sculpture art related to stone and others, the metal also. Architecture related to Vastu, designing. A kick work means uh, related to uh, precious stones, diamond related artistic workmanship and knitting work. Knitting means it's a type of like a weaving only. Knitting work. Woolen is knitted. You can say. 
Woolen is knitted. In woolen, knitting work is done. Knitting work have their unique identity in India. In all these works, India has a very remarkable contribution in the world history. Art clay work. Men and clay have been closely associated since ancient time. It is but natural because when there was not an age of we have we have not we had not discovered metal before that our life was around clay and stone only. So men and clay have been closely associated since ancient time. The whole life of man revolves around it from the cradle to the grave. Right from cradle to the grave, our whole life was revolved around soil, clay only. Before the invention, before the invention of matter, clay things were used abundantly. So, as I told you before, that before metal age, clay things were only used and it was used abundantly. Toys, pots, pictures, other lamps, clay stone, clay stone, chula. Clay wares were made by the potters to store grains. The toys, pots, which we use for storing water. Pictures, pictures, you know pictures uh, particularly when we use in Navaratra. Other lamps, other lamps, we use uh, lamps made up of clay and clay chula, stoves, previously chula, stoves were used made up of clay only and clay waves. Our all the utensils were made up by clay only. And we had a very remarkable uh, name in that clay work by the potters to store grains. Even for storing grains we use this type of Clay art, milk, ghee, curd, and buttermilk. All the utensils made up of clay were used for storing grains, milk, ghee, curd, etc. Maximum kitchen wares were made up of clay. Most of the kitchen wares were made up of clay. The walls of the houses. Walls of the houses, kubas, kuba means hut, jobri, we, we say jobri. Huts were plastered by the paste of cow dung and clay. In, uh, even in uh, today's time, we also can see all these things in rural areas. In rural areas, we can, uh, we can see the uh, walls of the Houses are also plastered by the best of cow dung and clay. We have got many clay utensils of red color that belong to Lothal, Mohanjodaro and Harappa culture of ancient times. In these, in these cultures, in Lothal, in Mohanjodaro and Harappa culture, we have got so many examples of clay utensils because we have got so many utensils made up of red color, red clay. Potter's wheel is considered to be the best device for clay work in ancient India. Potter's wheel, when we say it chakra in Gujarati. Potter's wheel is considered to be the best device because with the help of potter's wheel, potters used to make so many, uh, so many utensils 
of clay. In present time, also we can see garba. Yes, picture, picture. We say garba. Picture having holes containing other lamp inside in Navratri. We use picture in Navratri. India was famous for producing the bag utensils of bag clay as well as unpacked clay terracotta since ancient times. Bag means it was it was hit in it was hit to make it more uh, more durable. So utensils were packed just like we use uh, bricks, bag bricks. Okay. Similarly, the utensils were also packed, and hence bag clays were uh, we used to make bag utensils. And same way, when unpacked clay was used, it is that is called terracotta in ancient times. This is not by seeing remains of old and handmade clay utensils found from Nagarjuna, Nagarjuna Konda in South India and Lagraj, Mesala district. We can see the remains of all these handmade utensils even today in Nagarjuna Konda and South in, in South India. And we will start from art of living the art of making long threads using small pieces of cotton from cotton balls is called spinning cotton balls means which are that is also called swap means the cotton balls directly taken from ginning mills in ginning mills Raw cotton is processed and balls are made up of that cotton that are called swab and from then from them directly the threads are made up and made together that is called spinning. We all know that Gandhiji has given it a special importance as a cottage industry and joined it with Swadeshi to make us self-reliant under the banner of freedom movement which has created a new history. All of you know this that Gandhiji has made us self-reliant with the help of uh, this uh, spinning weaving of Swadeshi uh, cotton because uh, cloth industry, cotton industry is uh, has a very valuable contribution in our economy. And hand weaving, we will see hand weaving. What is the contribution of hand weaving art in our ancient, ancient culture? Since ancient time, India is known for its textile know-how. In textile, in textile industry, we are well known since ancient times. It is well known that whole piece of cloth of a particular size, that is taka. Taka means a particular size of a particular size of cloth in some meters of length. A fine muslin of Dhaka, muslin of Dhaka, this is very much important, muslin, what is muslin? Muslin is nothing but, uh, we call this, uh, we call it as malmal of Dhaka, Dhaka's malmal, that is very fine and soft cotton cloth from India, it was so delicate and lightweight that you can see that it was easily Pass from a ring. Ring means a ring of a finger. We used to wear in finger that much finger from that much small finger a whole taka was passed. 
so you can imagine its fineness and could be adjusted the whole taka could be adjusted in a match box you are well aware about the size of a match box and you can imagine a whole taka the size of taka full piece of taka was adjusted in a small match box only okay moreover carpet carpet means we use it uh, we use the word galicha for that carpet of several regions particularly you might have heard uh, badoi of uh, uttar pradesh and also andavar of gujarat several regions knitting work on attires attires means uh, you can say a form of a dress poshak jise hum kehte hain and artistry etc occupied a prominent place so these galicha of several regions knitting work on attires and artistry etc occupied a prominent place amongst them patola of patan very much important you might have heard the name of patan and patola of patan are very famous not only in india but very famous kanjivaram and banarasi sarees bandhani of rajasthan a unique identity of india so you can see hand woven some or colorful hand woven carpets here also in this figure okay so india has a very good contribution in weaving art particularly hand woven during the golden period of solanki era gujarat had progressed in this field gujarat has a very good contribution in this in this field also and particularly during solanki era during the reign of sidraj jaisin many artisans that is weavers came and settled in patan the patolas what do you mean by patola we'll see here the patolas of patan became world famous due to their skills this art of patan is more than 850 years old only handful of artisans now it is said that only three or like that families are there who are able to make this patola only handful of artisans have the skill for which for such a complicated and time consuming art this art has is really a time consuming one and its cost is also considerable maybe in lakhs the silk web bevered it you see bevered means double on either side ek means weaving art of weaving bevered it produced in patan is called patola of patan you just try to understand this ek means weaving and bevered bevered means on either side this type of sari is designed in such a manner that it can be worn on either side you can wear these sarees on either side this type of patola variety has a good durability they are very very durable not only finely designed but are very very durable also and its original colors remain intact apart from durability it the its colors are also very fine and they remain intact for years there is a saying in the same reference in gujarati there is a same in this uh, there is a saying in this reference that padi patole baat फाटे पर फीटे नहीं 
पड़ी पटोड़े बात फाटे पण फूटे नहीं इफ आई टेल यू दिस थिंग इफ आई मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग और परफेक्टली इन गुजराती देन आई कैन से के जे बात जे डिजाइन पटोड़ा ऊपर एक वक्त पड़े छे ए एवी रीते पड़े छे પછી એ વિવિંગ ના સેન્સ માં હોય કે કલર ના સેન્સ માં હોય એ એવી રીતે એની ડિઝાઇન થાય છે કે એ પટોળો ફાટી જાય પણ એની વાત એની ડિઝાઇન એ કદી નષ્ટ પામે નહીં કે એનો કલર પણ કોઈ દિવસ ફેડ થાય નહીં ધ ડિઝાઇન Laid down in Patola shell never fade even if the clothes may be torn. Its design will never, we will never uh, be distorted even if the cloth is torn. Okay, and same way its colors also. The colors will never fade. Now let's see art of embroidery. The work of embroidery can be seen on the clothes of the idols and statues which were found during the excavation of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. Embroidery art is also seen on the clothes of the idols and statues. of gods and goddesses which we which are found during the excavation of harappa and mohenjo daro the art of weaving on the clothes of men women and children in various in very is very famous from ancient times they used to wear colorful and design dresses in ancient times also actually they were more powerful in this art than we are in this this time only this art of embroidery was seen on the clothes of men women and children in sindh saurashtra and the kutch region at the time of the indus civilization During Indian civilization, the embroidery work was seen on the clothes of men, women, children in Sindh, Saurashtra, and the Kutch region of at that time of the Indus Valley civilization. Similarly, Kashmiri kasab kasab means art. Kashmiri kasab work of Kashmiri is also well known. Kashmiri art is also well known. Apart from embroidery, Bandhani of Jamnagar, Jaipur, Bhuj, and Mandvi of Gujarat are very popular. Embroidery work. We in Gujarati we particularly use Bandhani for that. Bandhani is a design on cotton cloth that is still there. Uh, we can see. in jamnagar jaipur bhuj and mandvi regions of gujarat these regions are well known for bandhani work the traditional style of bandhani with all its luster and due to beautiful designs of elephant puppet dies and picture is very popular today the design of bandhani is very colorful as well as luster and beautiful designs of elephant puppet dice and picture are made on the cotton cottage industry was taken over by the women of kutch and saurashtra regions of gujarat cottage industry cottage industry you must know the what is the meaning of cottage industry it is the work made at uh, hand handmade work in rural areas particularly made at home saurashtra regions of gujarat the traditional art of embroidery toranas chakra pillow cover 
bad shades shark todalia clothes like kedia is well worn even today all these things in gujarat you can see in rural areas even today so this was our traditional art still today you can see all these arts in rural areas in gujarat region toran chakra pillow cover bed sheets shark todalia and kedia embroidery embroidery work is also carried out on quilt and shawls you know quilt na no? we should we say rajai quilt and shawls with different designs embroidery work of chat community in bunny area bunny area of kutch is unique in itself the bunny area which you can see in kutch are very powerful in this embroidery work particularly in chat community okay now let's see leather industry what is leather industry skin of dead animals was used for various purposes in ancient india skin of dead animals was used for various purposes in ancient india after the death of animal its skin was processed in a traditional manner in a traditional manner its skin was processed so that you can use it in different ways leather was prominently used for making masak you must be not to this word masak it is a leather bag for fetching water in ancient times we didn't use packets but instead of packets we use masaks for fetching waters from wells and and cos drum dolar tabla musical instruments and the bellows used by blacksmiths and various types of footwear all these things were made up of leather only bellows were used by back blacksmiths and also very so many various types of footwear leather bands to tie animals etc leather swear uh, leather swear is also used for making bands to tie animals leather was also used to prepare shield which was used during wars you know the meaning of shield very well which yodas and sainiks warriors used to wear during wars leather industry had a prominent place in ancient india leather industry is also very well known industry in right from ancient times in india well the trade mostly of rajasthan mostly of rajasthan shoe made of made up of leather from rajasthan is well known shoes leather knitted purses belts and other things made out of the leather for house for horse and camel like saaj palan lagam and whip were very much in use all these things saaj palan lagam 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 also and whip whip means chabuk these all these things are used in carrying horses and camels and all these animals okay thank you very much